Hi students, welcome to our class. In this video, we will be discussing about scattering of light. When a sunlight beam enters the earth atmosphere, the atoms and molecules present in different gases refract the sunlight beam in all possible directions. This is called scattering of light. So which means the particle present in the medium redirects the beam in all the directions. So the part, consider a particle, when a light incidence on a particle, it gets scattered in all possible directions. The particle is known as scatterer. Based on the initial and the final energy that is associated with the light beam, scattering is categorized into two. Elastic scattering and inelastic scattering. So, elastic scattering. When the energy of incident beam of light, when it is equal to the energy of the scattered beam of light, then we can call this as elastic scattering, which means the energy level in before scattering and after scattering is equal. Then we will be calling that as elastic scattering. Next is inelastic scattering. Energy of incident beam of light is not equal to energy of scattered beam of light. So that the previous energy and after getting scattered the energy normally varies. So that we will be calling it as elastic scattering. Based on the size of the particle, the scattering can be classified as Rayleigh scattering, May scattering, Tyndall scattering and Raman scattering. Rayleigh scattering. Scattering of sunlight by atoms and molecules present in Earth's atmosphere is known as Rayleigh scattering. This scattering holds an important law which states that the amount of scattering of light is inversely proportional to the fourth power of its wavelength. It can be expressed as amount of scattering is denoted as, as which is inversely proportional to fourth power of its wavelength. So, according to this law, shorter the wavelength, scatter more. So, why this sky appears blue? Because the blue color has shorter wavelength than red color. So, that it scatters more. During evening and morning, the sky appears red in color. Because as the distance between the earth and the rays are very long, red color will be having the highest wavelength so that you need to travel a very long distance so that in evening and morning the sky appears red in color. So the next one comes the main scattering. When the diameter of the scatterer is similar to the wavelength of the incident light, then we will be calling that scattering as May scattering. So the amount of scattering, in this case, the amount of scattering is independent of its wavelength. So for example, uh, we can take pollen grains, dust, smoke, water and water droplets as the scatterer. So that we find this May scattering is responsible for the white clouds which are we are seeing. And the next type is Tyndall scattering. So, when light enters into a dusty room, we can see the path of the light. This is due to the dust particles scatter the beam of light. So, the scattering of light rays by the colloidal particles in colloidal solution, we can call that as Tyndall scattering or Tyndall effect. Next is Raman scattering. When parallel beam of monochromatic light, monochromatic in the sense it is single color. Single color light passes through a gas or liquid or transparent solid, a part of the light ray gets scattered. Such that the scattered light consists of some additional frequencies or wavelength compared to the incident frequency or wavelength. This we will be calling it as Raman scattering or Raman's effect. So according to Raman's effect, 
it is defined as the interaction of line ray with the particle of pure liquid or transparent solids which leads to change in wavelength or frequencies which means that after getting scattered the scattered frequency or wavelength they normally varies with the incident frequency or wavelength so after getting scattered we call that as spectral lines so when the spectral lines after scattering if it has the same frequency of the incident frequency then those lines are called as ray like lines in case if the frequency varies then we will be calling that as raman's line so varies in the sense either the frequency can be higher or lower than the incident frequency when the frequency is lower we will be calling that as stokes lines when the frequency is higher we will be calling that as anti stokes lines so regarding raman effect we will be learning in detail in our higher sections